Hello and happy sketching! An exercise with open lines, our protagonists or fish, go to turbosquet.com and look for the taste of fish you like. Here I have a carp. The task is briefly explained. We sketch the fish, but let at least five spaces open where you think it makes sense. Do not close the lines themselves, so let's have a look closer. First, uh, every gap would be okay, where the light reflects, maybe somewhere here, this is a good opportunity to let it open, where you suggest further texture, here we have the scales, and we have many many other scales, but we do not draw them all, more about it later. Where you want to show speed, maybe uh, in the tail aura, or where you want to enhance contrast. Uh, these are contrasts are always useful around eyes, so there where you have your key information. First of all, open spots and open lines are difficult places where you can use the rule particularly well. So you will be saved by this rule because there is a Gestalt Gesetz, the law of continuity, which helps um, us very much in sketching. Continuing on a path is the instinctive reaction to the eye when I receive, when it receives a directional impulse. In the diagram here, we perceive two curves. One runs from A to B, the other one from C to D. Closely related to the law of, law of continuity is the law of smooth progression. We tend to continue contours that have smooth transitions. No abrupt changes. Nobody wants to go from A to D. This wouldn't be natural. No bends. No harsh angles, because the line from A to B is smoother than from A to C, um, we see it as such. This helps us to see objects together and, part, and apart correctly. Now we come to the scales, the law of... Let's take this one or even this one. Uh, the law of similarity takes up the observation that optical stimuli with the same or similar structure are classified as belonging together. This means we do not have to draw all these scales here. We do not draw all the scales, 10 to 20 scales are enough. Then the observer has understood, ah, oh, this fish has scales and that is natural. So we rely on our optical memory because we know we have learned and this is always better than any sketch. You don't have to draw everything. It's enough to give the eye a hint and that, that's it. When we draw a thing, we start somewhere. I always start around the eyes and I start to bring the lines to the right direction, many lines, so bundles, they go to seven o'clock, then rather six o'clock here, somewhere is the mouth, and the moustache here, something like this, and here, this part, even this part, and here I have the scales. So what I do, I just draw some scales and I have a little bit a look of how they look like. So here the law of continuity. I do not have to draw all the line along the ridge of the back. Um, I can leave it open somewhere here and I can kind of highlight the eye again and here I leave it open. I highlight the other eye here, here's some kind of freckles, nostrils, whatever, Oppa. and I highlight again here, and here, this kind of, then we'll 
bit pointing of the mouth and the moustache then the lines around here so I do not draw all the stuff and here where it's difficult how goes the eye really to the lid and all this stuff I just leave it open I do not make any information be be here because I just give a hint the eye is outstanding just this is the hint here it's again outstanding so that it pops out and the rest I leave open here because I want this like this then uh here when i start to draw this i leave it really open i make fast lines and because i want to suggest that here is speed i do not want to let it open i just start the beginning so i do this precise where i start i even highlight the line then i do again a little bit of rhythm where this stuff starts and then I go further on then again I do not do any details of the second one here I just let it open as well as I let all the stuff here open where the other scales are and here again with fluttering lines and here again I have a rhythm of these bones here. I do not draw them all, I let them open. And I do not even declare where the lights are. Um, here it's shimmering white, so it's kind of reflecting. Um, I do not want to draw it all. But I leave it open. So what I know about the fish is that the sideline is maybe an important thing. So I kind of make this. And then I have the different areas that go, that are darker. They kind of destroy the form of the fish. So maybe I can of highlight to give a little bit of shade like this so this helps again here I do not do it very precise not much of information in this darker spot but here again I have another one here and here and then I have some scales here I add some scales here because we have scales here. I have an other scales here and here no scales. I'll leave it open and just do it like this and so on and so forth. Maybe here the chin, a little bit of highlighting out, then the overlapping thing. Always be precise where things overlap. Put the things together in the T form, so meaning if you have a line here, put the other line perfectly here. Do not over lengthen them, so this is e more easy to understand. Here we have another situation, maybe again the nostril. Maybe we have a little bit here where the fish breath is, and then we have the other lines here. I leave spot parts open because I do not want to really define the, the gin. And we go here, more than one line, many lines, let them freak out a little bit, give them the freedom. And again, do not draw all the lines, this would be boring, it's not the meaning of a sketch. Do the overlapping precise thing. Yeah, that's it. If you want to enhance your drawing, you can add, so I made this sketch with the water soluble um, pen so I just can give a little bit of water here and then we have kind of a of a shading in here that helps us to grasp the form better together I think like this would be nice okay um Wherever the finished form can be completed by the eye, 
where the law of continuity applies, you can leave the sketch open. So remember the air here, where the optical memory completes, that is considered that it is uh, considered the best. This is also called induction. This means that the viewer supplements the missing pictorial pictorial information with visual knowledge. Here, however, one must always refer to the cultural background um, if, um, if you really know this item or not. As this way of seeing is used very every day by all of us, this is not a problem at all. In the contrary, it allows the viewer to bring in himself, which challenges and delights him because he is part of the image. They feel mirrored in the picture. The viewers perceive non finito pictures as beautiful changes, as beautiful challenges, sorry. No wonder artists everywhere around the world uh, take advantage of this. So let's resume again. What are uh, the advantages? Leaving open areas in a drawing can help to create contrast and empathize the areas that are shaded or details. The blank areas provide a visual break for the eye and draw attention to the areas that are more important. Meaning, so here we have the contrast. We have here the contrast. Um, we can suggest light like we did here. Suggesting light. Um, even here, where the eye is, we have a similar thing. Open areas can also suggest uh, areas of light in the drawing, particularly if the areas around them are shaded or darker. So the darker I do it here, the more open it looks like here. Um, we can suggest a uh, texture. And this is enough so that I feel I have those scales everywhere around it. So I do not have to do them all. It would look a little bit childish. And when we have open uh, lines, we can even over lengthen them. Then we can suggest movement. So this means oh, movement. Uh, in terms of where to leave open areas in a drawing, this will be developed on the subject matter and the artist's personal style. However, generally open areas are left in areas of the drawing that the artist wants to empathize, shots such as the focal point of the composition or the areas that are meant to suggest light or texture. So yes, eyes open and lines open as well. Happy sketching!